Hi. So I'm just going to uh, demonstrate how uh, your NAS can get infected. If any of your NAS folders are mounted on a PC that gets infected, then your NAS can get infected. And then I'm going to demonstrate how if your NAS gets infected, you can very easily restore it with Snapshot. In order to do this, I am going to infect myself live right now with the WannaCry virus. Now I have mounted my NAS multimedia folder onto my Windows machine. Therefore, when I infect my Windows, it's going to infect my NAS multimedia folder. Now let's view that same multimedia folder in my NAS. Uh, same folder, same pictures, multimedia viewed in the NAS, multimedia viewed as mounted on my Windows. And so I will soon infect myself. But first, I'm going to take a snapshot. Now, I highly recommend that you just set up automatic, regular scheduled snapshots um, every day, or some people might even choose to schedule them every hour if you like. But I just want to show you how easy it is to take a snapshot anytime you want. So, I will go to Storage Manager. I will click on Snapshot. I'll select the volume I want to take a snapshot of. In this case, there's just one volume, so it's really simple. And take snapshot. I'll call it snap43. That's just fine. Now, this message is because I have set up read-write cache. It's letting me know that before it takes the snapshot, it's going to transfer the data from my cache on my spinning drives. And that way, when it takes the snapshot, the data on my cache won't get left out. Just making sure it gets everything. So I'll just give it just a little bit of time to do that transfer uh, because I want to make sure that it completes the snapshot before I infect myself, not after. Um, it's probably done already, so perhaps I'll just infect myself right now. So right away, when I open the WannaCry virus, it takes over my desktop. It puts all kinds of random junk in my files, in my folders. At this point, uh, I think you can still still view the uh, pictures. Um, they're not yet encrypted, but if we just wait, soon they will be. Now, this right here is their uh, the WannaCry pop-up. It's just telling me that I've been encrypted, and if I want my files back, I have to pay. This is the three-day clock. I have three days to give them $300. After that, the price goes up to about $600. And when this clock runs out, my time's up. I can't have my files back. That's just their way of trying to be intimidating. Now, let's wait just a little bit longer um, until my pictures get encrypted. I just want us to see that. Now they are gone. So I just want you to consider uh, what would you do if all your family photos got encrypted? And let's say that you didn't have backups. How much would they be worth to you? Would you just pay the ransom in hopes to get them back? Now, in my case, this isn't a big deal because I've just taken a snapshot. Now, let's uh, before I load the snapshot and fix things, let's, let's view this multimedia folder. Um, as you can see, it is, in fact, infected on the NAS. We can't view these photos. They are dot .wannacry files. They are encrypted. And now before I load the snapshot, I am going to unmount my folder. Now the reason I'm unmounting the folder is because um, once I uninfect the folder, I don't want to reinfect it. So now the folder is no longer connected to my infected Windows, Windows machine. So when, when I clean out the folder, uh, when I, I bring it back to the state it was in before the infection, it should stay uninfected. So to uh, load the snapshot is really simple. Storage Manager, Snapshot, Volume 1. But this time, I am going to click on Snapshot Manager. Now, um, I want to load Snap 43, but I just want to show you before I do that that I could load just about any snapshot I want. I could zoom out here, and I have, you know, I can load any of these snapshots here to bring um, either the whole volume, in my case, basically the whole NAS to the state it was in when I took any of these snapshots, or I can bring any individual folder or even file into the state it was in when I took these snapshots. 
Now, rather than revert the whole NAS to the state it was in, I'm just going to revert my multimedia folder because that's the folder that I infected. Now, this part's important. You want to click on that square right there uh, next to the folder because that will uh, select the whole folder as a unit. And therefore, it's going to revert the whole folder as a unit to the state it was in before it was infected. If I were to click on multimedia, it would open the folder. I could then select each and every file in the folder, and that would um, restore the files in the folder, but there'd be no guarantee that it would completely get the virus off the folder. So instead, select the folder as a unit, click restore file. Now, if I had clicked revert snapshot, it would just revert my, my whole volume, in this case, my whole NAS to the state it was in. Um, when I took this snapshot, but instead I'm going to click Restore File to just revert the multimedia folder. This should not take long. Uh, let's view the folder. So here you can see the, the virus is not on my folder anymore. My pictures are viewable. My folder has been restored. So if this had been uh, where I kept my backups, then at this point I would have clean restored backups, which I could use to restore my infected PC. And this is why the NAS is such a good place to, to store your backups, because if ever you have a problem with your backups, if ever um, they get infected, you can just load the snapshot and restore them. It's that simple.